Hello, everyone. Welcome back into the Fairbanks Evening News. Mike Schultz with you. And I've got some good news regarding the weather. We just got a call in from Allison Air Force Base. It's raining to beat the band there, so maybe that'll move out over the, the fire and help dampening it down a little bit. We can only hope that because we have a lot of clouds and showers around. We'll show you that in just a little bit. But starting off with our photograph tonight, a beautiful one. This one's sent in by Christine Pomeroy. She was over southeast Alaska and was able to capture a magnificent sunset here on the mountains. And again, beautiful shot there. If you have a photograph to share, by all means, send it to me at Mike Schultz at KTVF. 11.com. What's going on as far as the numbers this time of year? The normal high is 74, the normal low 53. Today's high only 72 degrees. Record high 87 in 1986. Record low 38 in 1924. Sunrise and sunset 21 hours and 16 minutes. A loss of four minutes from yesterday. Here's our latest radar zooming in around the Fairbanks area. As you can see, we have lots of showers and some thunderstorms embedded in these showers moving around the Fairbanks area, down around Allison Air Force Base. That's where they're getting the heavy rain right now. So I think we'll probably get some showers here in the Fairbanks area, but the most important thing is we get them out there near the Chena Hot Springs Road area. That's, that's the most important thing. What's going on as far as our satellite picture across the state? Again, you can see a lot of moisture down across the Gulf of Alaska and over the western side of the state. And they're real organized systems. They're all going all different directions as far as what's going on across the rest of the state. Temperature-wise, you can see temperatures are cooling off. 57 degrees at Juneau, some showers there, cloudy skies at Ketchikan, a little rain falling at Bethel, only 47 degrees, 51 at Nome with some showers, 59 at Barrow, cloudy, and Fort Yukon, 72. Lower 48 weather. Once again, hot temperatures are in the news. Not quite as hot in Denver, but again, in Salt Lake City, the sixth day in a row, they've been over 100 degree. Uh, temperatures and over the eastern side of the country, lots of showers and thunderstorms. You can see those roaring up the east coast here, a pretty good jet stream bringing that moisture. And then again, more activity moving across the desert southwest, hopefully helping to put out some of those fires they've got going there. As far as the uh, overall picture for later on this week, the jet stream once again remains well to the north, allowing all that hot air to come up and continue across the western half of the lower 48 with thunderstorms over the eastern half. All right, back to Alaska for tomorrow. The northern section, rain showers at Barrow, rain in Nome, and thunder showers for Fort Yukon. Here in the interior, we'll be looking at partly cloudy skies with just a few isolated showers in Healy and the Fairbanks area. Over southeast Alaska, it looks like more rain in for the forecast for Juneau and isolated showers in Ketchikan. While out to the southwest, we're looking at light rain in Cold Bay, showers for Kodiak and rain showers in Bethel. And over the uh, south central sections, showers expected across the region for Anchorage, Valdez, and Homer. Here's your forecast for the remainder of the night in the Fairbanks area. Looking at 49 degrees, cloudy and hazy, a few isolated thunderstorms still not out of the question. Tomorrow's forecast, again, lots of warm temperatures, but not as warm as it has been, 71 degrees, partly cloudy skies, some areas of smoke and some showers, and the extended forecast, as you can see here, looking at a very nice July 4th, 73 degrees, while overnight lows will be dropping down into the low 50s, and uh, no precipitation expected through the weekend. Looks like temperatures rebounding a little bit to warm up to around 80 by Saturday and Sunday.